Full disclosure, Shuva usually takes care of the morning chores, but by nature, myself having the camera, then I can film myself the, the few times I do it, and makes it, you know, controlling the narrative here. I'm a hard-working man. Now, we have a sick chicken. Uh, the chicken from the other day that we thought was sick is, uh, is, uh, under the weather, has, uh, has, uh, I think we call it rye neck. Anyways, we're just, we're giving her the vitamin E and uh, just really babying her. And so while she's doing that and getting the other chicks to take out, I'm going to feed the calf, turn out the flock, and uh, yeah. I welcome you to exit anytime now. All right. I'll turn you guys out in a minute. You guys are free to go. Aw, sleepy kitties. Hey guys, good morning. How are you? It's okay, don't get up on my account. There she is. Hi baby. Hi. Hey Clarabelle, are you hungry girl? You just want fed. You come out. You are hungry. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. So hungry. So hungry. I'm kind of hungry too. I'd like to go out to breakfast. That's what I want to do. I don't think that's on the agenda today. Sometime. It's been a long time. Breakfast, that's my favorite meal to go out for. Breakfast. An omelet, a cup of coffee. Yeah, that sounds good. Next week. Next week, yes. So she has what we determined to be, thanks to the interwebs, uh, rye neck, or sometimes called stargazing, where she's looking straight up like that. It's pretty creepy. Be brought on, and it, her head floats around. Yeah. Whoops! I don't want to put that down your nose. So she can't, in this condition, she can't eat or drink. So so there's also that problem of dehydration and 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 total obviously malnutrition and stuff and and um on top of what we already think could be a vitamin e deficiency from not mm -hmm. accessing and eating enough of the the foods that i mean she's out she's out grazing she's out free ranging there's lots of things she can she can eat but she's been so neurotically anxious because of the new chicks that we have around that she not only engages she not only doesn't engage with the feeders in the coop, but she doesn't seem to be out engaging with um, all wide open spaces nearly as much either and adventuresome with, with going out and eating. And it's just compounding things. She's not, she's, she's was getting weaker. and But we don't really know. She could have had an injury too. She's been Lethargic. Fleeing, she's been thought lethargic and determined to stay away from the rooster, like, like just um, very vociferously um, protesting his advances to the point where it gets pretty violent at times. Like as he's as he's and I've had to intervene to just to get him the heck away from her because she's just been too. Ever since she was out accidentally that one night, she seems to be pretty, was pretty weak. So I think it's just been all compounding. And um, so I did get some vitamin E oil. I got some more electrolytes to put in the water to give her. We've been temporarily keeping her in there nice and safe and snug, trying to keep her, Gotta give uh, her. basically low stress and lots of uh, vitamins, nutrients, hydration, so on and so, so you, forth. And so we watched a video on YouTube. You take, yeah. she's got her little waddles, you gently... Pull on the waddles to get your finger, index finger up here to pry open her beak to get the water down in there. Yeah. And so she's and been she very does... cooperative about 
she looks better, believe it or not, than the, we've been doing this is our third or fourth time doing this, and she's more energetic, looking around a little more. So hopefully when, when we got her out earlier, she was actually standing yeah. up in there, which she hadn't done before. She, yeah. She'd only, the first couple times last night, this morning, she didn't stand up or even attempt to stand up on her legs at all. She stayed crouched down very low, like laying without mm-hmm. any any active use of her legs um, to protest anything that we're doing. She's totally cooperative. Um, but once the afternoon feed, early afternoon feed happened, she had enough energy at that point that when we would be prying open her beak, she would actually start to engage her legs mm-hmm. to back halfway back away. So yeah. that was so we'll see. A good we'll time. see. We'll try. I mean, uh, she's so, showing some signs of improvement. And fingers crossed, especially because mm-hmm. she's my favorite. She's my favorite. She's sweet. She's a little pet, aren't you? We'll yeah. see. She's she's never enjoyed lounging on us like this, except for that, like like we'd shown them the morning that we discovered her after she had been um, lost out of the coop that night. She she was happy to stay safely crouched on our laps for a good long while, but she eventually even then decided it was time to after we washed her washed her valve and everything. She was ready to get up and 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 find her own private space to just recuperate but but she can't physically actually do that right now and she seems to be um she seems to be uh what's the word um resigned to that fact and doesn't either just doesn't have the um energy to pro to show any frustration with it at all or or she is just happy to be happy to be taken care of what's passing by Oh! What is that, Mark? What, in fact, is that? That's a tractor. What? What is it pulling? It's pulling an implement. Yeah, you can't say. It's always a tractor. All right, it's evening time. Evening feeding done. Chickens fed and other chickeny kind of stuff. Sick chicken has been taken care of now, and we'll check in on her. We've been trying to do every three hours. As we increase the amount of chickens, I don't think we will be so caring each time one is a little ill. But hopefully we are. Hopefully we find that time. I just I can't imagine that. Anyways. <clears throat> it's, uh, it's the end of the day. I did not achieve any of the things I set out to do. Today was kind of a day, it was a little wet to be out in the fields and do a lot of the farmy kind of stuff, so I had some small goals I wanted to achieve just around here. I wanted to put up the garden fence that I keep talking about. Uh, and the car needed an oil change. I've been very disciplined since we moved here and we drive more than we used to. I've been very disciplined about uh, Oil changes. Three months, 3,000 miles. It's kind of old school because I think you can go longer nowadays, but I just have been very disciplined about that because we used to not drive that much living in town. Now we drive a lot, and I want to really keep our our vehicles, just pamper them. They're old, and we can't afford a new car, so the oil change. I was going to do that, and I didn't do that. Instead, we went to the Butterfly House, did a little, did some family stuff. And uh, i got to remember to make time for that. The Butterfly House is in Sioux Falls, and it's a place with, with butterflies. We've been there three or four times now since we moved here, and the kids love it. Uh, there's a little, like, aquarium area, and then this area with the, with the butterflies, and you, you, they can land on you, whatever. And and the boys love it, and it seems like everyone has a good time, except me. I, I, I appreciate it, but I feel like you go once, and that's, that's all you need for the rest of your life. But uh, Shuva got a membership there, so we can just keep going back again and again. I don't understand, but don't want to be a party pooper, so... Family stuff. Went to the Culver's, got a burger, went to the Butterfly House. And magically it became evening. And although, yeah, it's like 6.35, I could still accomplish something, but 
My boy went down to the basement looking through our movies and he pulled out a towering inferno. He loves disaster movies. He said, I want to watch a towering inferno. Paul Newman? Steve McQueen? No, I'm not getting anything else done today. By God, we're watching that movie. And that is the day.